and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic Friday and I hope you all have exciting plans for the weekend. Um, this weekend, we're just gonna be taking it easy and chilling it out <laughs> as much as possible because it's been a non-stop, crazy month for Maverick and I, balancing out work and family and friends and everything, it's been pretty crazy because <laughs> um, I've had my older brother Max and his girlfriend Laura in town as you've seen before um, they were here for two weeks and then my younger brother came here with his friend Peter for I think eight or nine days so it's been pretty hectic and then Maverick's mum was here the week before my older brother got here um, well four days before my brother got here she was here for a week so it was been non-stop um, this last month and a bit so it's been pretty hectic <laughs> But it's been good. Um, it's been so good catching up with everybody and seeing all the family, but it also is sad because now the house is quiet and nobody's here and it's just Maverick and I and the dogs. So we're kind of like, oh, <laughs> we miss like the full house and everybody being here, but it's always nice to have them over um, and hopefully I'll be going to visit them very soon. Um, so yeah, so today's video is really gonna be a kind of quick kind of skincare video because I just, See, the last few weeks I've had to kind of up my skincare routine a little bit because I've had hardly any sleep and um, we've been on the go a lot, I've been out in the sun a lot more often so I've had to really make sure that I'm taking care of my skin. I can see like my skin's a wee bit glowy in this, <laughs> in this light so yeah, <laughs> I don't know, we'll just go with it. <laughs> so I just really want to talk to you guys about skincare and things that I do. Um, Especially when I've been had a busy week or I've had hardly any sleep, but I know that I have to work the next day and then I have to make sure I have, my skin's okay for pictures and things like that because I don't like using Photoshop. I don't use it. So for me, I like to make sure that my skin's in good care and good condition. Um, and also for me personally, I love taking care of my skin, so I like to make sure that it's in good form. Um, or else I have really sensitive skin, so sometimes if I don't, I can break out a lot and then. Yeah, <laughs> like I get itchy skin or something, so I'm like, okay, I have to take care of it and make sure everything's good. So since my brothers have been here, obviously it's been a, we've been going here, there, and everywhere, and I had to really kind of do different things to my skincare, just keep my normal routine, but also have to add a few different things in um, just to make sure my skin is getting what it needs, as well as having a balanced diet and drinking a lot of water and things like that. I still like to make sure my skincare is is in top form. <laughs> well, I try. And there's been some nights I just want to lie in my bed and I just go, I don't want to take my makeup off, but I know I have to. <laughs> okay, so what do I usually do? So, okay, so the dogs are barking. Um, they usually just bark at the neighbor's dog. So, yep. <laughs> I mean, as I said before, what is any of my YouTube videos without one of my four dogs barking? <laughs> okay, so for me, I start with a double cleanse. So, Benny, what is it? Where, where is everybody? <laughs> so I start with a double cleanse. Um, so I usually, it depends, I have different cleansers for during the day and during the night. Um, I usually use Tatcha skincare, um, but right now I've been using pharmacy which is a green cosmetics company and the dogs are like making weird noises. Guys, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> it's a madhouse, you guys. Okay, I think they're fine now. I think they're good. Okay, so, and I've been using that as a balm and you just um, put it over and you put it on your eyes, it takes eye makeup off, um, which is like a different step. It's like, yeah, when I'm like really can't be bored using, I think it's called, is it muscular water water, something like that? I, I use that one um, with just a comp pad and take that off first, my lipstick, and then I use that. But if I'm really not wanting to do that, then usually I do use a balm and put it all over my face and my eyes. <laughs> um, and I use that first and then I go in with Tatcha. Um, they have a deep exfoliating um, cleanser, which I use that as well at night. And then during the day, I tend to use just kind of like, um, I think it's Derma E, they have like a foaming um, cleanser, which is nice. Okay, so where do I start? Okay, so once I've cleansed my skin, especially to deal with kind of tiredness, I also like to use, um, so 
I kind of like to use different masks and I like to do different exfoliations. So it depends on what you like really. For me, I love using these and they're from Dr. Dennis Gross. And I know it sounds like a, it sounds funny like his name, <laughs> but um, they are the extra strength daily peels. And you can use these daily, but I would recommend just trying them every other day if you're gonna try it to begin with, just to see how your skin gets on with, because they are chemical, um, a chemical peel. So it just depends on how the sensitivity of your skin. You can get ones that are more, like are better for sensitive skin, but I don't have sensitive skin and these seem to work good. Um, so I use these sometimes, if I'm really, really tired, I'd use them every day of the week. <laughs> and it does help with acne and to help um, diminish the look of scars. So it's good. <laughs> so I'd recommend this one. And then the other one that I might do, um, if I don't want to do this one because I, maybe I'm too tired or something, <laughs> or if I've run out of them, I usually use this one, which is by Derma E. And it's their overnight peel and it's an exfoliating facial. Now what you do is um, once you've washed your face and everything and you've toned, I usually put this on top and then I put a moisturizer and I would just go to sleep. And in the morning, your skin does look really glowy. <laughs> it's really good. So it's the same thing. It's just depends on what one you want to go for. <laughs> so uh, once I've done that, um, I'd also use just some different serums and things like that, depending on what I'm treating for my skin that night. Um, but recently I did get some new stuff that I wanted to talk about too. So this one is Kate Somerville and it's their, what was it? Dermal Quench Liquid Lift. Um, and I, every time I went to Sephora, I'd always put it in my hand because it makes like a weird kind of, hold on. I'll see if it will go. Okay, I used to take that on this. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, I just pulled the thing off. And it like usually like crackles and things. I don't know, I just I just like that noise. <laughs> um, so I do use this one and I've started re using it recently. Um, and it has been good and it's for, you can use it day and for night. Um, and you just put little lines here and then you just massage it into your face. Um, and it's meant to help with any lines or it helps hydrate the face. I think he said on the thing, it helps hydrate the face a lot, like just a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try this out and see how I got on with this one. So this one's been a good one. And I also got this exfoliator too. But this one's um, by Alpha H and it's liquid gold. I wish it was kind of liquid gold, that'd be really cool. Um, and it's another kind of exfoliator. Um, but what you do is you put this on every other night, so every second night, um, and what you do if you want a really intense peel, what you do is you just put this on the cotton pad, put it all over your skin, and you don't put any moisturizer or serum, you just go to bed. I put eye cream on and then that's it. Um, and I, honestly, you guys, like I'm loving it and I've been using it for maybe four nights now and I'm like, okay, this, this guy's good. <laughs> so I'll see how I got on with this one. But because of that, I also like to use this one. I don't know my box, it's a little bit, it's got like, I don't know, dog hairs on it. Um, I got these from CVS and they're Snail Hydrogel Eye Patch. And you can put them underneath your eyes and I just leave them on for maybe 10, 15 minutes and I take them off and then I'll do my makeup. And they're really good because Snail, um, what's, it, what's, it, what's it called? Snail Secretion is actually meant to be really good for your skin. So yeah, these are definitely really good. I've been using these for maybe a year and a half and I like them. Um, and I also, at that point, if I have any cucumber as well, I put cucumber over my eyes or put some spoons in the freezer and then take them out and put them on my eyes and that helps too. Um, and then sometimes at night as well, if I'm like really, really tired, then I would put some ice. Once I've cleansed the skin, put some ice all over my skin because that helps too with to keep down your inflammation and things like that. And it also helps spots apparently. So it's kind of good to know. So also once I've exfoliated and things like that, if I'm just doing um, the gross, Dennis Gross peel, I would also like to go in with a moisturizing. If I'm not serum, then I'd go in with a mask. So usually I like to use different masks, but most of the time I love a sheet mask. So I usually get these from CVS because you can get them for really cheap. Um, and the, or you can get them online because these are Korean ones. And this one's called Seven Days Mask. This one's aloe vera. And these are really good. I have them in, you can get them in so many different kinds. I think they're all in my bag downstairs. But I, I get these and then I've had these ones, I think once before and they were good. And I'm retrying them. So these are JJ Young. And it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of like a poor rose hip mud sheet mask. So I'm excited to try this one again. But I usually use these 
I used to use them every day, these like sheet masks, um, before I went to sleep or at least before I put my makeup on and they're really good. Um, so, and they're actually re like really cheaply priced so I'm like, I like that. <laughs> And then afterwards, just going with moisturizer or whatever. Um, but I did recently also get this Peter Thomas Rose eye cream and it's their Potent C. Now I will say that I've only been using it for like two days. Oh, I hit that right in my nose, but I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really like the smell of it. But I'm seeing how it goes, so I'm hoping it's gonna work out well because someone recommended it to me. Um, and it's got vitamin C and it's meant to help with lines, puffiness and tired, like dark circles. So I'm gonna do that right now. So yeah, so we're gonna see how this one goes. <laughs> um, and if I don't have like an, like an eye cream, if I ran out sometimes, I would just get some, I don't know, like <laughs> rose oil or vitamin E and I'd tap it in. Or just use my moisturizer, honestly, and tap it in. And I'll do until I get a new one. I also want to point out that I did get these ones from Neutrogena. And these are the Hydro Boost Hydrating Overnight Gel Mask. And these are new, so I'm excited to try these out because I just got them today. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys know how I got on with this because I don't know what this is. I think it's like in a tub. And then you put it all over your skin and you peel it off. So I'm excited for that. So for me, oh, I also forgot. So I also been using this a lot recently and it's by Pharmacy and it's their Honey Potion. And it's a renewing antioxidant hydration mask. Uh, I love this part. It's like a magnet <laughs> and it smells so good you guys and it's all natural so what you do is you literally like use this spoon you peel it out like not peel it out, <laughs> you scoop it out and it does smell just like honey and you put it all over your face but then you take like a minute or two minutes just to massage it until it turns all white and then you leave it on for like 20 minutes and then I usually use like a dark, a, a dark cloth, I mean a damp cloth with water and um, with like some like kind of mild to warm water and I just take it off and then after that I would splash my face with some cold water just to close my pores and then it's great. <laughs> it's so good you guys, it made your skin feeling so good. I don't know what they're barking at now. What are you barking at? No idea you guys. So yeah, so I just wanted to kind of go through because that's kind of what I've been doing. I know it sounds random and I know that I did get some new things to try. But I do usually try and keep up, especially when I'm tired. I just want to make sure that my skin's okay so I don't wake up the next day and go, oh, I forgot to take care of my skin and then I have acne or then I have like really big bags under my eyes. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a challenge sometimes. Um, and also I do have a jade roll uh, roller and I usually use it underneath my eyes and then around here, my cheekbones, and then I pull it down my neck. And it is really good as well. And sometimes you can put it in um, the fridge, if you remember, in the freezer, because sometimes I really don't remember. <laughs> um, and it comes out really cool and it's actually really nice. Especially when, if, like, if you've been upset or if you're tired, it really, it really does the trick, you guys. So yeah, so that's kind of what I do for my skincare routine. I know it sounds a bit kind of like weird and things like that, but that's kind of what I've been doing recently to keep up with everything that's been going on, on the go and things like that. Oh, I actually was sitting on some more so you can get bamboo water ones, charcoal one, and then some green tea. Okay, so he was just out barking at the dog next door. That's just a normal thing. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys that I got some jewelry in the mail too from Splendid. And I've had a few of the pieces before and I am so excited to pair them up with some new pieces that I've got, especially for autumn kind of coming up, especially in LA. I mean, the weather's kind of changed a little bit for autumn, but not that much. It's still really, really warm. <laughs> but um, yeah, so these are the, some of the bangles that I got. So this one's kind of, it's like a white one. And then these are like really cute pink. And this is like my favorite color pink, so I'm so excited. And then this really light pink peachy color and then another kind of white one. Um, and then, so the, these are like a set. So these are the little hooped earrings. And I'm so excited to try these, you guys. Um, my ears have got a little bit infected recently, but I think that's because I'm, I'm not, I'm technically I think I'm allergic to non um, kind of gold or silver earrings, um, especially if I'm using them too much and then I, I need to clean them all the time to make sure that they're okay. So yeah, I just have to be careful sometimes, but I do love to wear costume jewelry. It's the best. <laughs> and it's a lot cheaper, so I'm just kind of like, do you know what? I like wearing costume jewelry. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much money on just some gold and silver, but I do have, I have to have some 
especially for this year. It's been so infected, you guys. And I've been bathing it with some salt water, so I'm just kind of taking a chill from um, wearing some with my earrings. Okay, so here are the beaded necklace, and it's really, really cute. I love the design on them. You know, like the carving and things, it's so cute. It kind of looks like a branch or something, so it kind of has autumn feeling. Um, so yeah, so this is everything that I wanted to really talk to you guys about. Oh, and also in nighttime, I had to get a new one, but I usually use these kind of sleeping masks and they're adjustable and they're like, um, this one's a satin one, you can get like silk ones too. And it's really good for your eyes, especially if you're just kind of wanting that good night's sleep. Um, but then in the morning you know that the light is going to come through and you're going to be like ah it just wakes me up when I don't want to get woken up yet it's like before my alarm goes off so these are actually really good because then you can sleep through and also it's nice for your eyes too so yeah so I think that's everything for this video today I also did get some new eyelashes they ran out of the, the, the half set ones so I'm back to the Ardell natural ones and these are these are 109 and then I do have 1352 because I do use both, so yeah. <laughs> so this is them. Um, so I'm excited to get back to wearing some of them too um, because see, since I've had not had the half set, I haven't really been using them that much. I did have some natural ones on um, recently, but then I always like put them back at night and then I wake up in the morning and like one of the lashes is gone. So I don't know. I think I may have to invest in like one of those trays that you can put them all in and then you're like, okay, this is that one and these aren't going missing because they've got a lid on them. <laughs> I need to start doing that. So yeah, so this is everything for this video. I'm so sorry that it's kind of been like a kind of random kind of rush video, but I just kind of wanted to make sure that you guys have something to watch too and I'm keeping up with everything. And I did want to make a skincare one because it's been one of my main concerns right now <laughs> is because I've been so tired and exhausted and I can feel it in my skin as well. And my diet hasn't been that great recently. So yeah, it's, it's, it's all happening right now. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you don't, if you like this video, then please subscribe and leave a like and a comment. Um, and remember to press the bell icon because then you'll know first when I post new videos. And I do have a really cool video that I want to share with you guys. So I think I might post it not on like a Monday or a Friday. I might post it on a Wednesday and see how it goes. Um, and it was when we went to Star Wars land and when we built, well, Maverick and Peter, they built lightsabers. So I'm going to put that video up because um, my phone's about to die. <laughs> um, I'm going to put that video up so you guys can see that, so we can see the experience. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I've said that two, two times. That <laughs> I don't know. I think it just, it's just, I'm just on repeat right now. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I hope you have a great weekend and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye.